Good morning, guys. We're up. <gasps> your bib. Is that your big giant bib? We're about to do breakfast. What do you want for breakfast? Mommy had brownies while you were still sleeping. Is that the coloring crown for your waterboard? You want, you want that on? All right, let's go eat breakfast. We fed Reuben breakfast and changed his clothes, and now he's running around with his bib and calling it, calling it a shoe. Is that your bib for when you eat food? I'm also making myself some sausages. Boop. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. Did mommy knock you? Okay. Want me to read it to you? All right, mommy will read you the book. Gonna read Ruben a book. Let's read. Let's see. Bring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Fishies in the water, fishies in the sea. We all jump up with a one, two, three. Mommy can't turn the page with one hand. <laughs> there you go. Was that a cool book? I gotta go turn the stove off, bud. I'm making some sausages. You can have one too. I'm so tired. I stayed up late last night to finish um, editing my crochet tutorial. So I'm tired. But it's done. It's going to be for this rainbow hat right here. It should already be up in my main channel because I'm putting it up today and this video doesn't come out for another week. Whew, it was really fun to make. I need to make a little man a matching one. Do you need a matching rainbow hat? Yeah. Mommy is tired. But mommy will nurse you. You want nurses? Hey guys, so we're having lunch here. We've been having some leftover squash from yesterday. This morning I started, um, I posted an article about how there was this mumps outbreak and how every person who got mumps in this area, I think it was like 12 or 13 people, they called an outbreak from 12 to 13 people. They all were completely fully vaccinated. And I was like, well, this makes me really feel like vaccines work. And then um, some people started posting on my vaccine post because vaccines are an extremely hot topic. Like when I was pregnant and I didn't know anything about vaccines or anything at all. And I posted about researching them and I got slammed. Like, they told me, people were telling me that if I don't vaccinate my son on the CDC vaccine schedule, that I was a child abuser. I was completely shocked. I think I even cried about it. It was ridiculous. Um, and I wasn't even against vaccines then. Like, I was just researching as a new mom. Like, I was looking for some input. Anyway, we don't vaccinate at all here. Ruben has never had a single vaccine. Um, I re received, at my two-month vaccines, I had grand mal seizures and a vaccine damaged. So because of that, we've decided not to vaccinate at all. And he is a super healthy little boy. There's absolutely nothing wrong with him. He doesn't have any vaccine present preventable diseases. And I have done a ton of research. I plan on making a lot of videos about it. And I'm not a bad mom. It is not against the law to not vaccinate your child. I do believe that I, as a mom, get to choose what I put in my body and in my child's body. You know, if you want to vaccinate your children, that's perfectly fine. But I guess I, guess I would be against vaccines religiously and morally and scientifically. I, I've done tons and tons and tons of research, but I don't even know where to start in, in getting videos, um, you know. And I know this is probably going to upset a lot of people because a lot of people think that if you don't vaccinate your kid, they're going to catch polio and die, or they could transmute polio to somebody else who can't be vaccinated because they have a medical reason. 
stairs. But that's simply not true. Reuben can't transmit any diseases that he doesn't have. And he doesn't have any of those diseases, so he can't transmit them. And if you choose not to vaccinate your child, like okay. I do, for any reasons, whether it's medical or religious reasons or anything, I do believe that you have to really know what you're doing and you have to really research. The world, no matter what you do, where you live, there's always risks to living in this world. And I think the risks of vaccinating my son and him having a seizure since I had seizures outweigh the risks of not vaccinating, of him maybe catching chicken pox or something. I had chicken pox as a kid and I'm perfectly fine. I will say that Ruben does have a medical exemption right now. Um, we delayed vaccinations up until eight months. He didn't have an exemption, but now because of his horrible allergies, you guys remember when his cheeks were all broken out? Um, we got a temporary medical exemption from vaccines until 18 months when they're going to do some testing on him. So he has a valid medical reason not to be vaccinated. However, if I had vaccinated him before I knew this, he could be damaged. He could be dead because I delayed, you know, I did a religious vaccine waiver because we are religiously against vaccines until he was eight months old. If I had vaccinated him, he could have died because he has a true medical reason not to be vaccinated because he's allergic to many of the ingredients that are in the vaccines. But how am I supposed to know that when he's two months old? That's why we decided to delay um, at 18 months. We'll see if he still has those allergies. I'm still not going to vaccinate him, though, but he may no longer have a medical um, vaccine waiver. So, yeah, that's just my vaccine spiel right there. <laughs> I want to talk more about it. I do have lots of credible information to share. Um, this is just one mommy making one decision. I'm not trying to judge anyone else for their decisions that they make. But as a woman, I believe I should have the right over my own body, and I believe my child should have the right over what he puts in his body, and the government should not mandate any sort of any kind of vaccines or any sort of medical procedure at all. Good. That's too much control. We should, as a people, be able to decide that. Having some leftover paleo curry for lunch. Ruben's still working on his squash and egg casserole. <laughs> Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I'm having some squash casserole with ketchup on it. Ruben's running around and playing with his little house pieces. Ah! Might be hungry. You hungry? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? You want, you want the mommy? You want to be picked up. Up, down. <laughs> Hold on, mommy's got to fix her shirt. If she was breastfeeding you. We don't want to show the internet all the boobs. You stink. Did you poop? I think the answer to that question is probably. <laughs> I have a climbing baby. I have a climbing baby. We are, we are a climbing baby. We are a climbing, climbing baby. <laughs> ah, mama loves you. Mama loves you. What do you want for dinner? You want peas? Peas? Peas. Peas. Or do you want peaches? Or apple? Do you want an apple for dinner? Hoping Daddy would get home on time, and I'd be like, "Daddy, you can feed Reuben dinner, and Mommy will take a shower." But Daddy's not home. Dada. Yeah, Daddy's not home. We'll give it five more minutes, then we're gonna feed you, and then Mommy will give you to Daddy, and Daddy will play with you, and Mommy will go take a shower. I'm still wearing my pajamas. If you guys notice in the vlog, sometimes I wear the same thing for a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> happens. Sometimes showering gets pushed to the side for a day because I'm making videos or doing something or something like that. What are we doing? 
I'm having leftovers for dinner today. Hey. Hey, there's brownies up there. And mommy's grocery list. And, uh, you're so cute. You are such a good baby. Yeah. Ah, uh, lasagna. It's a food people eat. Lasagna. <laughs> I like the chicken. Okay, let's go feed you some dinner. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Yes, Dad. Ruben's escaping with your shoe. That thing's like as big as his whole leg. <laughs> you got daddy's shoe? So, did you want to go out for dinner or do you want to eat in or what do you want to do? Uh, I don't know. I want to take a shower. I will. It's dead. It's dead. Yeah. This yeah. sounds like what he said. <laughs> Just don't let him eat the shoe. No eating the shoe. No. Do you think you could feed him some more food? Sure. You want food? Are you hungry? <laughs> I like how he bicycles his legs. Shoes! <laughs> <laughs> He's such a happy baby. It's so nice. Mommy was in the shower. Daddy put cute things on the ruby. This was the outfit he wore on his birthday, and I love it. Overall, my babies are the best thing. I'll get him a bib. Well, we're just going to hang out for the rest of the night, and I got to cobble something together for dinner, leftovers. But I will see you guys tomorrow, and have a great day. Bye.